Welcome back to the channel. This video is going to present two exercises on continuing offsets. The exercises on this video are going to be short. Uh, however, there is going to be a big detail on the mathematical formalism and how uh, proofs about sets are written more often than not. So the first exercise is going to say that A, B, and C be sets. If A is contained in B and B is contained in C, then A must be continuous. Uh, give you a try to this exercise. Uh, feel free to pause the video at this moment. However, uh, if you want to see a certain approach for uh, solving this exercise, uh, uh, continue. Um, so, uh, one important thing to keep in mind is to look at the conclusion of this statement. Uh, the conclusion of this statement is a companion. That means that we need to prove a property for a general element of set A. Uh, keep this in mind because this is very important uh, for the very beginning of the proof. So uh, let A be an element of A. This is going to be our beginning of the proof. And this, look, this sentence is very important because this is a general element in A. And this sentence is going to be in A, is going to declare a general element in A. I know. This may look like a lot of information. Uh, however, in order to have a valid, and for valid, I mean correct, a general written proof, it, it is important to always start with this clause. Uh, maybe in some times there can be a little bit of preparation, but this clause is necessary for the beginning of the main. So, oh, okay, let's continue. Now we can use information that we are giving on the exercise. And the first piece of information is that A is containing B. So let's drop that. And we have already this. Now, um, pretty much the direct property of containment is going to imply that A is in B. And now again, we can use more of the information that we are giving. The next piece of information that we are given is that B is containing C. So we track that piece of information. And again, we now use uh, pretty much the direct property of containment. And that is going to imply that A is in C. It, it is important to see at this moment that we have been doing a post that is going to link our initial information to the entire process to the last part of the process. So we started at the beginning of the proof with the let A in A, and we end up with A in C. This entire argument is the definition of containment. So A is containing C, and now our conclusions match. That is that we have gotten to the end of the proof. So let's go for the second exercise. Uh, let A be a set, and then A is containing A. Uh, feel free to pause the video at this moment, give it a try, or if you want to watch a certain approach to solving this problem, uh, keep on watching. So as I was saying, uh, this is the beginning of the proof, and again, it's a containment, so we use pretty much this magical phrase, uh, the idea is that we want a general proof, so we start with let A in A. As you may have heard, I was using the general phrase let A be an element in A. It is more often than not uh, shorten that phrase into let A in A. So then, uh, what is going to happen? And uh, this is kind of a tricky step uh, because now we just keep the same. Okay? Let A in A. But now this is our, our consequence. So we start with A in A, then A in A. Uh, this then is an implication as, as in the previous exercise. Uh, there are ideas that follow from the first ones. In this case, the idea A in A follows from A in A. That's just the... Now this entire thing uh, makes up an argument. And this argument is going to imply, uh, think about this green arrow as an implication. 
pretty much therefore is going to be the word for that implication. So this is going to imply that A is containing A. That's the definition of containment. We start with the general element, that A, A, and we end up with that general element belonging to some set, which was A. So A is containing A. And this is again showing that our conclusions match. So this is the end of the proof. Uh, let me know if you like the video. Uh, you can leave me questions or comments. Uh, let me know if you have a certain topic that you want me to cover. Uh, thanks for watching.